Hey everybody, look. It's time for 188. Episode 188. It is August 8th. Huh. On 2018. <gasps> oh my god. Wait, what was that? Is that like, are we supposed to get creepy or paranoid or something like that? I don't know. It's one episode 188 on August 8th. Eighth month. Eighth day on 2018. Interesting. Anyway. It is uh, 5 p.m. in the afternoon, and we got a kind of a long video for you today. I did not realize that I had spent th nearly three hours and 30 minutes in this cartoon. I don't know. I just kept like working on things and going back and doing things, and next thing I know, I got a really, really long video for you guys. Let me pull that up. Let me stay this All right. Today's cartoon is on the Donald Trump's Hollywood star. And I think it was like 2007, whenever he got his star for hosting beauty pageants, being on The Apprentice, and just being an all-around famous douchebag. Um, he had to pay for it, though. He, he paid $30,000 to have it put there. What an honor! Ah, yay, me! I guess they don't let anybody buy one for $30,000, you know? So, what an achievement. I mean, there are some other creepy people in there, like Kevin Spacey, Harvey Weinstein probably has one, I don't know, I haven't looked it up. Um, so there's definitely pedophiles and some jerkoids on the Walk of Fame. Um, but his star is like a magnet for people to attack it. Um, people have spray painted on it. Um, people have let their dogs pee on it. Most people just walk by and they, they stomp on it and they spit on it. It's just a sidewalk in Hollywood. If, have you been to Hollywood? I have. Yeah. You know, um, a lot of worse things going on in Hollywood. Um, one guy built a little wall around it. Some people have <laughs> put stickers on it, anti-Trump stickers. And uh, one guy even spray painted a swastika on it. But to be fair, that might have been a Trump supporter. So, um, yeah, possible. Uh, but last week, somebody... Um, according to, to the way the witness described it, went to town on it with a pick, pickaxe. And he just tore it up. He, he dug a, a hole right in the sidewalk. On, is it on Hollywood Boulevard? Maybe. I don't know. I think kind of goes around the corner. I've been on the Walk of Fame before. I've walked on it. Uh, a lot of people have done. It doesn't make me unique. Um, I don't remember who I saw. The stars because there was a bunch of them um but the city council of west hollywood decided you know what we shouldn't have this guy here on our walk of fame so they voted unanimously to have trump's star removed yay but they uh it's a non-binding resolution because they don't have any authority on the over the walk of fame so bless you But in the Chamber of Commerce, Chambers of Commerce, they tend to be run by by the business community and stuff, so they can be like some real, real, what kind of, what's the kind of word I'm looking for here for people like that? They can, they, they can tend to be, um, um, no, no, that's the word that, uh, uh, douchebags. Yeah, that's it. Let's go with that one. Um, but... Um, so, and they said, we have no plans to remove Donald Trump, and it's not going to be removed, because it's, we consider every star a piece of the historic fabric of the Hollywood Walk of Fame. <laughs> so, I highly recommend that everybody in West Hollywood area, with the dog, walk your dog by the Chamber of Commerce, and let them know how you feel about that decision. I just hit. Never mind, it's gone. So, anyway, I had this idea yesterday while I was making my other videos. And uh, I thought this is not the most important issue, but I'm going to do it because I like it. It's just funny to me. It makes me laugh. I had a hard time with this uh, text here, just fitting it in where I wanted it and where it's going to work. And I didn't even, so I spent more than three 
hours and 30 minutes on it because I actually redid the text later, but I don't let you guys see me do that because you already saw me do it once. So I was like, screw that. I just wanted it just a, a, a smidgen smaller. You won't even notice it if I, you wouldn't have noticed it if I hadn't had told you. I started drawing this about 4 a.m. So I slept about 3 a.m. And I finished it about mm, close to 10, I guess. Um, but even though this wasn't the most important thing, it's being pointed out again this week, along with just that Trump is lying more and more, that he is so racist. He's just so, so, such a, such a, such a big, huge, big fat racist. And it, so I thought this gives me another opportunity to take this issue and just point out just what a big fat racist he is. And, um, and I don't mean to pick on his girth. Uh, when I say he's a big fat racist, I'm not just talking about, you know, that he's a fat guy. He's really, really super seriously, super, super, so fucking fat. He's a big fat fatty fat, but that's not what I'm trying to make fun of because I don't want to make fun of people for being fat. Um, um, so what I mean is when I say he's a big fat racist is that his racism is large. It's just so much girth to his hatred and racism and just, just, just a, so much. So much racism, just big fat racism, big sweaty greasy fat racism. The kind of racism you don't want to see without a shirt on. You know, it's just nasty, nasty. Yeah. Um, but nothing bad against big large people. Um, da da da. Uh, what is it? Oh yeah. But anyway, because racism has been really kind of huge again this week. It's huge every day, but we don't talk about it every day. Um, I saw this thing yesterday on um, um, the beat. Uh, I can't remember that guy's name. I think it comes on about six. Uh, Ari Melber, my, uh, whatever, on MSNBC. And he had this, uh, I think her name was Candace Owens. And he and they were talking about racism and his Trump are racist. And you know how he treats black people. So they had her on. She's a black conservative. And they had uh, uh, a black gentleman on. cannot remember his name, though. And she just got upset. She was yelling at the other dude, yelling about Antifa, bugging her and blaming him for it, even though he didn't do it. And then she got mad that she was on there with another black person. She was like, every time I come on this show, you got to put me on here with another black person. But what were you talking about? So, and she would just went on complaining about how Antifa was bothering her. Antifa must be the new big thing this week because I've already seen like three conservatives do cartoons on Antifa. I'm like, huh? Who? Huh? And one of them even called him terrorist. You know, yelling at somebody in a restaurant does not make you a terrorist. It can make you a real serious dick, but it doesn't make you a terrorist. You know? Yeesh. One of my housemates doesn't tip. Does that make him a terrorist? <laughs> uh, no, it just makes him a person with a lot of spittle in his food. Um, but anyway, racism's kind of big this week. Again, because, you know, Trump is really big about insulting the intelligence of black people. Um, I saw this other political cartoon from this right-wing douchey, and he was like, oh yeah, because everybody did this, even white people, which is, these people are real, real quick to rush out and say, look, 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 let me defend him from charges of racism. Because every time that happens, they never consider, huh, let me think about the evidence here. It's just, it's an immediate defense. Um, and I, I had this other friends on Facebook. All they do is, all day long, they, they post pictures of, of black people supporting Trump. It's like, look, we have black friends. Look, 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 look. But most of those photos are probably paid models. But th that's, that is racism. They don't even know it. But the other big thing about racism this week is that the right to life deal holes are going, they're planning a march in D.C., on Saturday or Sunday? Uh, oh, it's got to be Sunday. On the anniversary, because the last one's on a Saturday. On the anniversary of uh, the the hate, the the March for Hate in Charlottesville, and it's like the March for White, the right to be white, or something like that. Uh, but they're gonna do it this time in Washington, and from what I heard, there's gonna be like 400 other people there, 
and they're gonna do it near the White House, which I think is really appropriate. You guys should definitely go. They've been given a permit, and they can fly their swastikas. And they're seriously, I'm not making that up. They can fly their swastikas. They have been given permission. You can fly for the swastikas. But I predict there'll be a lot more than 400 people there. And by that, I mean there's gonna be a lot of people there to let them know how they feel about them. And for those people, I recommend that you bring your dogs. Um. Da, 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 da. Let's do some shout outs. We're going to go to 187 for some shout outs. And all our shout outs are going to be to Ariel and Akinta. Unless there's someone else in here. Da, do, do, da, do, 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 da. Nope. I'm scrolling. That, that's, that's my scrolling mouth music. Do, do, da, do, 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 da. Nope. 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 But let's talk about some other comments. Um, Ariel can hear the TV saying Alex Jones, Alex Jones, Alex Jones. Yeah. Uh -huh. I might still have to do a cartoon on that guy. Even though another Republican was in charge today. Um, at one point, Ariel was wondering if I had like a pick in my mouth when I was talking. But I sound like this when I was talking. Well, that's me having a pick in my mouth. Yeah, I do that a good bit. And, and Ariel wanted to give like a at four four ten mark. I must must have mentioned Hillary. I uh, gave her hip hip hooray. Uh, Hillary also proofread this one. Um, cause just because it had so many words, there wasn't anything in it. And I apologized to her, so like I try not to do this every day. So it didn't become a daily thing because I think the last three cartoons I have bothered her. But of course she's so nice. She's like, oh no, please, it's such a pleasure. I do this every single day because I love you so much, Clay. Oh my god, I love you. Okay, she didn't say that, but she she did express some admiration. So um Oh, and Akinta, in the last cartoon with the car and all the tweets and the flying bills, there were twelve flying bills and eleven tweets. The little Twitter verbs. I did not think about that. Thank you, Kenta. I didn't realize I drew 11 Twitter birds. I always have a hard time drawing a Twitter bird. I don't know why. But in that one, I just, like, just, just did it. <laughs> and Kenta also stayed up to watch and comment this one. And it did not disappoint. Aw. I was worried about the tie for a while. Because the tie, she didn't know if it was going to show up. And then she saw it. It showed up. Yay. <laughs> All right. Now, now that, uh, let's go. Since I put those other two up so quick, let's go to 186. This is the one with the NRA. I have a constant theme in my cartoons, and that is, and maybe every political cartoonist does, but we draw a lot of jokes. A lot of jokes. Da, da, da. Ariel, I thought some president NRA. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, Ariel, blah, blah. Well, Ariel's glad that Robert Cotino is not dead. Robert Cotino, if you're still out there. We can hear you breathing. Um, let's see. I'm just seeing if there's anything here important. Oh, Aaron commented. Aaron said that I sounded like down in the dumps when I made the NRA cartoon. I wasn't really down in the dumps, but I had just woken up. And I was trying to, to not talk this loud because people, someone is in the room next to me. And they were sleeping, probably. And uh, Aaron said that I almost got my guitar to sound like an O-U-D, 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 what? Yeah. And she never answered that question that I left for her, was an O-U-D, 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 ugly, dunderhead? I don't know. I had to uh, Google, image Google, tiki torches, even though we got two in the yard here. We're not Nazis, but we do have two tiki torches in the backyard. Um, my housemate bought him a couple months ago and I asked him if he had to fight any Nazis for him. <laughs> Living here, you get those kind of comments from me, witty, all day, all day long, it's like a gift. <laughs> um, oh, let's talk about the cartoons, so, so yeah, this is all ink. Uh, I used the pencil for all of this except for the Hollywood auctions, that's a pen. That is about the extent of the technical talk for the drawing of the cartoon. Um, I do change the size of the, of the pen as I go along. Uh, usually I'm at like a 2.4. You got to be real geeky for this part, folks. But then for the shading and the cross hatching, I usually put it down to 1.0. And then I change the shading of it. it. Took me a while after I had the Surface Pro that it was kind of cool that when I had it that low with the shading, that I could actually uh, lighten up the, the pen just by using gray instead of black. There's different levels of gray. 
to figure that out. Oh, I was going to mention this today. Because it kind of just... It, it tickles me and it kind of annoys me. And I don't know why it annoys me because I knew it was going to happen. Um, more and more cartoonists are doing videos now. And I am not the first cartoonist to do a time lapse video. But I am the first one to be consistent with it. To do it like every single day and make a YouTube channel. Now a couple guys have created YouTube channels. And that's cool. Actually, I'm kind of glad that people are taking doing it. Because maybe if they do it, uh, we can build a following together. But both of those guys, I said, hey, let's uh, trade and follow each other's. Subscribe to each other's uh, channels. And they both said, yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. And then I did it for them. They still haven't done it for me. So, um, they're probably not listening to this because I don't listen to theirs. But I am about to unsubscribe from your freaking channels if you don't subscribe to mine. Indian gear. Well, that, that's not true. That's not nice. Uh, that was a little bit racist. I'm sorry about that. Um, uh, but, yeah. You don't say you're going to do something and then you don't do it when it just takes you a little click. It's not like you got to drive across town to do it or nothing like that. And after that analogy wasn't even right. Because they didn't give me something. They just broke a promise. So, anyway. But I've seen more of these other videos being made. And I've seen them before, but other guys didn't really know how to do them. They'd time lapse them. And, uh, and a lot of them are really, really cool. I think Luckabitch has done it with someone over his shoulder for like one cartoon a week. And he doesn't do it every week. And I've always liked that. And, um, uh, but he doesn't talk during it. In fact, they, they speed it up super, super quick. And then the other guys, some of them are speeding it up. Some of them aren't time lapsing it. Some of them don't even talk over it. Uh, some of them do talk. And then, then I detect the stuff. And then I do little squiggly line here. So it's not as much fun or as exciting as my channel. I know I'm like comparing myself to them and going, yeah, mine is better. But I, I am hoping that it does actually, that we all help each other out. That'd be really cool. The only thing that really, really will annoy me is if they start getting way more followers than I do because I was here first and I'm not getting that many subscribers to it. Um, so that will just, yeah. So, and, and here's the other thing. Cartoonists, we're supposed to be supporting each other. We're supposed to be helping each other. If you help me, I help you. My people help. We'll join with your people and we'll help each other. Just uh, something simple by subscribing. But cartoonists don't get it because we are territorial and I am too. I just told you I was. I get jealous and stuff and they do stuff like that. Um, I, I get jealous of it, but I, I also want it to happen. So it's weird. Uh, the one thing I don't want to happen, but I do get upset about and I shouldn't. Is like when somebody else takes one of my car my idea, I mean, even if it's just a coincidence, but they do it like a day later, and that annoys me. But I don't really do anything about it because I can't. I don't even say anything about it often. But um, but then the readers come in, and they're like, "Oh my God, you're so brilliant, you're so creative," and I just want to go in there and go, but I don't. <laughs> He is not brilliant, he's not creative, he just came in the room and he told me to do it, and then he did it, and that's why he did it, he's not a genius, okay, this is not how it happened, I'm giving him huge compliments, and so create complimenting his giant mind, because his mind didn't come up with it, it was mine, alright, so, anyway, I just got that out of my system, <laughs> 18 minutes, alright, I got another minute, alright, I'll stop complaining about things, for the moment, um, the, I'd rather be Russian guy, he ended up in the cartoon because near the end, when I was doing all this stuff, of uh, the inking, I just thought that was just a huge gap in space. Uh, and I thought, I need somebody else back there. And how about someone who doesn't have to say anything because there's already too many speech problems in this. And then I was thinking about who else could be back there. And I thought about maybe Mike Pence because he would really put, put this over his bed. But then I thought, man, there's so many other people. Like Sean Hannity would do it. Um, and then I thought, hey, I just have a guy in a Russian t-shirt. And then I thought about those two schmoes that we saw for the Trump rally last weekend with that photo and this thing is real it is not Photoshop. Snopes looked into it uh, are those two uh, jerkwads wearing the I'd rather be Russian than Democrat shirt so I thought yeah let's put those idiots in here this is kind of like a social media um, gag I mean it's, it's it's an inclusion in the cartoon that only people on social media will get because I think that's the only place it's been covered but so that's for you guys
and I wanted to put it in the QAnon, and folks, and the, the eye doesn't have anything to do with it. I just thought it was funny. One of my readers commented within minutes, like, why is there an eyeball, eyebrow over the eyebrow? Because I thought it was funny, yo. And of course, Peppy showed up. I was trying to think about what to put on the, the D-bag shirt. Anyway, folks, apologize if I got a little crazy today, but we had 20 minutes to do something. Um, uh, bye, bye, bye. Uh, thanks for coming by. Uh, please give me a like. Subscribe to the channel. And if my buddies subscribe to my channel, I'll tell you there is to go subscribe to. Also, it doesn't mean you got to go look at them. And please share this on social media and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.